Yeah, back it from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer Run Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, I have something pretty damn awesome to show you again. It's time for the packet from China, so that means we're having some crazy, awesome and obscure system. But now we're going to talk about the Retro Game Plus. This is the two-year anniversary edition. To be honest, I was really hyped, personally very hyped about this product because I wanted to see what are we going to get. The Retro Game already did some reviews about them and yet there are so many new versions coming out. Maybe when having them all, I'm going to do a little bit overview for you, so you know which one will fit your need. So let's take a close look at the box. I really like what they're doing over here, having this custom box for this plus two year edition. We have some information about the screen. It's a three inch screen, not very big. It's EPS, so I'm very curious how is the colors on this display. Little overview what we have with the system. And they make this epic fail. Yes, I have the, <laughs> I have the blue one, but the both say black transparent. <laughs> oh, how can you mess it up? But nevertheless, all right, let's see what's inside. All right, let's unbox it together. Let's see what we're going to get. All right, it comes with the system itself. Ooh. Take a close look at it later. Plastic. I have really no clue what it is let's see Ooh, is this a screen protector come out come out whoa this is a really thick screen protector it's more like a thick gorilla glass Ooh, it looks chinese toilet paper manual and they even made a new manual for the system that is pretty cool av out cable oh, this one uses the little jack cable i really heard those yeah, people, they're still using the RSA out. I hate it. Give us HDMI. And we have here an, ooh, a very old connection. <laughs> wow. Sometimes it's really annoying with these portable systems. Some have micro USB, some have S-Type. <sighs> Make it all the same. Ooh, and we even have some wipes with it. Because it's going to get rough, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, when it's made or something? Don't know. All right. That contains the package from China. And uh, let's see how the system is. All right. Oh, wait. Um, ta -da -da ta -da! Ah. Hmm? What did they do with... Ooh. All right, people, here it is. I love it. Oh yeah, I'm going to need the, uh, I'm going to need the wipes for sure. And now I know why they send these assured the wipes. All right, this is what you're going to get when ordering this product. This is basically, let's say the first, uh, this is basically the same like the first model, only they added this analog stick. They improved with an EPS screen and 60, hurts if I'm saying it correctly, because the previous model, the first one I've reviewed with the analog stick, didn't have the 60 hertz. A lot of people were complaining about it. So this is what you're going to get. I really love this model. Man, it blew my favorite scroll. Transparent. Oh yeah. Oh, the analog stick feels so nice. All right, let's do a little bit of overview. What are we going to get with the system itself? All right, so at the left side, we are finding the D-pad. This one feels pretty damn nice. Select, start, and of course, analog stick. I already mentioned it, the analog stick feels like a really quality analog stick. No more cheap Chinese horrible analog stick. So that is very nice. At the right side, we're finding the speaker, A, B, X, and a Y. And I really like the dragon on it, I love it. Okay, at the top, we're finding two shoulder buttons. And I can tell you, they feel pretty good. Very strange that they're still using this old mini USB. This one is for brightness control and AV out. Yeah, people, no HDMI. Why didn't they add it? Man, oh man, that's a really big bummer. Like the 
30 Hz model, they are using the BP5L. This is an 800 milliamp battery, so this one is pretty damn huge. And at the bottom, we have in the headphone jack reset. So if you're having a problem or it freezes or whatsoever, you can just basically give them a hard reset. And here we have an SD slot. Ooh, there is an D card inside. Let's see. You can just basically pull it out. Ooh, they give me a card. Ooh, they are going to be naughty. So if you remove the cover and the battery, you can reach the SD card. This one contains the firmware. That was not possible with the first generation. Yeah, it was possible, but you need to rip apart the full system. Now you can very easily do this. Replace the firmware if you want, and that's it. It's no magic, but it is pretty damn cool. And here at the left side, we're finding the on and off switch. And at the right side, we're finding this little screwing for adjusting the volume. All right, so let's take a close look at the system itself. All right, I'm powering on the system. This is what we're going to get. It comes with some apps installed. If you use the shoulder button, you go to the next menu. Here you can see some emulators on this device. And there are way more to download so far. I know you can add them if you like. Next one, more emulators. Capcom System 1 and 2 are here, Neo Geo. Even open board system for playing homebrew games, beat em ups. Here we have the homebrew games. All the familiar ones are over here. Mr. Drillux, Quake 1, Quake 2, Wars and 3D, my favorite Street of Rage remake game. We can watch some movies, listen to music. We have in the setting menu, here we can adjust the CPU, for example. And a lot of things you can do with it. Alright, let's test some games. I'm very curious. How are they going to run? Alright, let's try this game. Hmm, not Sounds good, that's pretty decent. Nice. I don't know if this is normal, but I think it's running a little bit choppy, but it can be me. Hmm. All right. For Game Boy, this is really cool, but you can remove the bezel if you want. Because the screen is very tiny now. But even the Game Boys went perfectly on this thing. Great sound. Funny thing is, when you're playing Game Boy Color games, this game is using Game Boy Color Bezel. Pretty funny. Alright, let's go to the settings. Let's see what we can change. Can we use the skater? Uh, 
full screen. Ah, here it is. Now we have a full screen. So if you like this, you can just change it out. I think it's very cool that this um, program has the option for doing this. But alright, you're getting the point. Okay, let's try in the Sega Game Gear game. Oh, he just kicked me. Oh man, I didn't even get a chance to hit him. All right. Very cool, very cool. That's great. Oh, come on. It looks beautiful on the screen. And works like a charm. Great music. I don't notice any weird screen tearing. I need to stop playing this. I can't do this all day. I know this game has a lot of problems, so we're going to test it out first. Okay, how does it sound? All right, sounds great. Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, everything is mapped correctly. Ah, great. It's enough now. I need to stop doing this because I love to play these games all day long. Oh yeah, this looks a little bit better than all the original Atari Lynx. Can finally see what I'm playing. <laughs> oh man, this game is horrible. Oh, I guess throw a better rank, that's pretty cool. So if you learn to play at every length, it's possible. <laughs> what the hell just happened over here? What? Let's try another one. What do you call it? Block out, but more like in three Tetris. Okay, I can I change to blocks. I cannot swap the blocks. Okay, as, as you can see, we can quick load, quick save, but that's something I don't want. Okay, that is weird. All right, so let's play some PlayStation games. The first game is Gran Turismo. Very curious how this thing is going to run. It's using 100%. 
on the CPU. It's running on 40 frames, 44. But let's be honest, okay, it runs the game, but this is not like it should be. It's playable, but I don't want to I don't want to play this game in this way. So let me know in the comments, do you want to play a game like this? Oh, and break. Alright, let's play some Twister Metal 2. I'm very curious. It's a three dimensional game, but how does it run compared with Gran Turismo? So, looking at this, it's running 60 frames. It's not even using the CPU for 100%. It's peaking to 70, 71, but it doesn't use 100% of the CPU compared with Gran Turismo. And this is running on 60 frames, so this game is just playable. So if it comes to PlayStation, it seems to be that not all the games are running perfectly, but for example, Twister Metal runs just fine. Okay, that is really cool. And this is, by the way, one of my favorite games. <laughs> Alright, let's play. Let's take a Mega Drive game. Okay, quick save, quick load, so that's pretty cool. Can we. Ah, fast forward! Yeah, I love fast forward. Skip the shit and let's play. Okay, let's save. Yes, save please. Alright, save. Let's load. Oh, that is really cool. Oh, this game looks so amazing on this beautiful EPS screen. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, failed. Try again. So let's come to the game with a good drive, it went just great. Nope, I failed again. Alright, let's try another game. This is, by the way, maximum volume. And going to choose Raiden. Alright. Why can I hit him? Alright, so we're having the Poké Minis. What the hell is this? So let's try a little bit of Sega Master System on the retro game. I did notice that we have some volume differences between the system itself. So I, I'm thinking that that can be a little bit of a problem. This is, by the way, the loudest setting. So the cell is not bad at all.
master stamp runs perfectly on this thing. Can we do it? Oh, I cannot do this rolling thing. Oh man. I want to go to the wall. Okay, let's try some PC Engine. What the hell is this? <laughs> let's try Shmup. This is why the PS Engine has a really cool game. Sounds pretty horrible. Okay, we're going to try another game because this thing is running pretty damn poor. So this sounds pretty damn good. Hmm. Right, let's play a little bit. Hmm. All right. So that is pretty weird. That the previous game was just basic game that didn't work perfectly, but this one. Works like a charm. Oh yeah, wicked. Great job. Right, this is the part I really love these systems, the homebrew games. So let's play some homebrew games. And I'm dead. Street of Rage remake. Oh yeah. With my favorite stage. With my favorite character. Mm Alright, so for the final conclusion regarding the Retro Game Plus 2 year edition. First of all, I don't know how long they are going to sell it. I tried to ask some sellers, but nobody gave me any straight answer. So that is something we're going to find out in the future. But they did a lot of big improvement if you look at the other versions. They added the joystick, of course, but this time it's a very good joystick. The screen is 60Hz EPS, very beautiful. It's tiny compared with some of these portable systems, but this is what you're going to get for the money. Emulation is pretty good. It cut the Oppo Dingook, so in other words, you can just add programs, add games, and do whatever you want with it. I think it's pretty cool. Very curious. 
What do you think of this? Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell because you get notified for upcoming videos. And if you're into retro gaming or gaming in general, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel. See you next time. Bye bye.